Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. If you're wondering, like we were wondering, can you do a nice cheap solar system? That means the solar panel, the inverter, solar controller, and battery. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Is that in the budget? Is it in the budget? Solar's <laughs> expensive. We did this really expensive. all for under $200. It's budget friendly. $200. It's not the best, but you know what? You know, what do you mean it's not the best? I wouldn't even just claim it like that. It works awesome. It for does. What we use it, we don't, it works awesome. It does work awesome, guys, and it taught us a lot. It's not $2,000 worth of solar, although that would be nice, but that's not in our budget. And I'm going to tell you right off. This will do the trick. Sorry. <laughs> it will do the trick. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, we did have help. At the beginning of this, we knew nothing about solar. Our awesome neighbor, Paul, you're going to want to check out later. Right. We're going to do some videos on his cool van. But wait until you see this, guys. Under $200. You can do it. If we can do it, you can do it. I will tell you how. How did we do it guys? I'll tell you how we did it. With a little bit of help, we managed to get this 100 watt, yeah, 100 watt flexible solar panel. Super light, easy to pack, it's not that very big. And you know what? Again, promise my neighbor, you can always reach out for help. He made this stand out of PVC pipe. The nice thing about this. Which was like a couple bucks, right? Just a couple bucks. And the panels, I gotta say, the panels are really funky because they're just like a flat sheet, really, really thin. So they're, you have to put some kind of structure behind it to be able to set them out, I think. I'm sure you can lay it on a car or something, but. So this way we can hang it up if we want. We can stand it up. It's got the plug on the back. It's even got two USBs right built right into it. It's cool. It's a very cool little thing. You know what? I'm All so for the low, low price of 40 bucks. $40 on eBay guys. Now I'm not gonna tell a lie. I've never had good luck on eBay Our neighbor got it for us on eBay has the receipt and everything 40 bucks on eBay for this hundred watt solar panel score This is how we're keeping it so cheap Very happy with this so out of 200 take 40 bucks out So from the solar guys we get into how I hook it up into our DIY camper. You know what? This is actually a really heavy duty old extension cord. When we built the camper, we put a plug right in the side of the camper. So this goes in the camper to our battery. Bam, not a super expensive battery. It's about a hundred dollar battery. It's 90 milliamp hours. Yes, I know a lot of you are gonna say you should be around 120, but hey, this is all within staying within the budget, keeping it under the $200. And we also thought about it even when we were building it too, don't forget. So we knew that we were wanting to get some kind of setup going on. Miss Finley, sorry guys, she's kind of getting all wrapped up in it. But we knew that we were gonna want all of this stuff at some capacity, so while building it, we kind of prepared for that and did it before we put all the paneling and everything on there. That's right. When we first started building the camper, we didn't know if we'd be able to do solar because we didn't know if it was in our budget. But we were going to wire it anyway, just in case, you know, fingers crossed. So it is wired. So it goes from the solar panel into this plug, from the plug to the battery, from the battery up into the solar charge controller, guys. We even put a little extras in there, a little sneak peek. We've got a 12 volt plug here. So if we need to plug something in, charge up a, or not charge up, fill up a little dinghy or something like that, we don't have to go inside to do it. So let's take a look inside. So guys, we're inside. Here it is. This is our $15 30 amp solar controller. I know you can get better solar controllers out there, but hey, like Marcy and I said in the beginning, it's always staying in the budget. And as long as it works, we don't need all the fancy stuff. It has like a light, which really acts like a night light in the evening, which is really cool. So yeah, 
right now we've got our iPhone plug in there charging up this blue speaker Bluetooth speaker Bluetooth yeah. speaker I should do a review on this this awesome. Uh, that thing's awesome. Awesome. Maybe bucks. Don't, maybe don't. If you guys want to see a review on this, leave a comment below. I'll do a little review, but a five minute video, it'll be awesome. Leave a comment below, and smash that thumbs up. So this is our little solar charge controller. So it comes from the battery, goes in here. It actually goes from here. Down the wall. To our switch. Now the switch is not included in our budget of under $200. This was 50 bucks. But we bought that first we weren't sure how we were going or what was going to work out with that so that was the first thing we bought yeah so it's a little bit if you wanted to switch you're looking at about 250 dollars if you didn't need it you're still within that 200 dollar budget doing it with this stuff but but i would recommend the switch because it is cool to walk in and click the button and turn the lights on as we have above right now on or to turn like there's like four or five switches on there that you can utilize to however you want to do your lights inside so it is very handy you can get this and nightlight. little solar charge controller and a 10 amp, a 20 amp, and a 30 amp. But you know what? For the little bit of money that it actually is, it was definitely worth the 30 amp. It's got built-in USBs right on it. It shows the panel charging and it shows everything. I know you can get better ones and I know some of you will leave a comment. But go ahead. You know what? Leave a comment below. If you think that we could have done better within our budget, leave a comment below, guys. But you gotta see some of this. I mean, look at how he wired that in. He drilled little holes in there so you can barely tell the wires are there. I don't know if I'm getting that very good, but it looks pretty sweet. It's awesome. So where does it go from here? Let me show you. Okay, so after the solar controller, we actually have an inverter, guys. Our inverter costs us $40. It's not a pure sine wave, it's an inverter. It's a modified. But you know what? It's got 800 watts continuous, 1600 watts peak. And I actually think the name brand is Peak. And it's just right underneath here, guys. Hey guys, so that inverter fits perfectly. If you would have watched our last videos when we built this DIY camper, you would have seen we extended the bed by about 10 inches. It allows the inverter to go right underneath there and it works great. We use it for our TV. We use it to plug in our Wi-Fi so we can actually watch Wi-Fi movies, battery chargers, all that cool stuff. Guys, if we could build solar on a budget for under $200, you know what? So can you. Give it a try. If you add it up, the panel was how much? 100 bucks. No, 40 bucks. $40 for it the solar panel. should have been 200 bucks, but. The battery was $100. Yes, you can get better batteries, but hey, this is all within a budget. The solar charge controller was 15 bucks, and the inverter? 40 $40. Add that up, 200 bucks. And you it, have yourself power. So we have not even attempt like even come close to using it up over a weekend we charge the phones we've got the interior lights on all the time i mean it's been awesome it's done the trick for us you guys if you didn't see us building this awesome thing please click this card you know what thank you so much for watching marcy myself corey for you that don't know and little miss finley which is sitting Right oh, here. come on she over here, Little Miss Finley. She loves the camera, guys. She loves her camping, too. Oh, Little Miss Finley. And Little Miss Finley, guys, our little eight-month-old rescue who just loves, loves the camping. Don't you? Don't you? She likes it. She's doing good. Say bye, Finley. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. As Marcy said, don't forget to subscribe. And ding that little notification bell so you'll be notified of the next video that we put out. And have we got some cool videos coming out between Marcy's cooking and the whole nine yards, guys. See Please. you soon. See you soon.